a spy until... I got a burn notice on you. You're blacklisted. When you're burned, you've got nothing. No cash, no credit, no job history. You're stuck in whatever city they decide to dump you in. Miami. You do whatever work comes your way. You rely on anyone who's still talking to you. A trigger-happy ex-girlfriend. You shoot them. An old friend who used to inform on you to the FBI. You know, spies. Bunch of bitchy little girls. Family, too. Hey, is that your mom again? If you're desperate. Someone needs your help, Michael. Bottom line, as long as you're burned, you're not going anywhere. As a field operative, some aspects of life aren't part of your daily experience. You may be familiar with the mountains of Afghanistan or know how to break down a 50 caliber machine gun, but that expertise comes at the cost of certain normal activities people take for granted. Keeping up with sports teams, for example, or details of lawn care, or dealing with babies. You're sure it doesn't need medical attention? Its name is Charlie. Your nephew's fine, bro. He just needs a little nap. Oh, by the way, Mom, thank you so much for the welcome home meatloaf. It was really... It's thoroughly cooked. And, uh... Ruth's gonna be bummed she missed it. Well, it's not every day you can get a pedicure. <laughs> so, how's Fiona? Mom told me you guys are... living together? Yes, we are. It's moving fast. <laughs> At this rate, they should be married by 60. Thanks for the food, Mom. I'm gonna go fix the chart. Oh, Michael, is there gonna be an end to this? Because I want my garage back. Mom? Could you just support his head? You know, I mean, his little neck muscles are not really developed yet. You may recall that I've done this a couple of times. Anything else? Hey, you know what I was thinking? This would be an awesome project for us. We finally convert your ride into a spy mobile. We would put a smoke screen button right here for high speed pursuits. You know what happens to smoke at 60 miles an hour? It dissipates. You doing all right, bro? Nate, why'd you move back to Miami? See, why you gotta be like that? It's important to me and Ruth that Charlie grow up around family. The same Ruth who skipped the welcome home lunch for a pedicure? <sighs> Look, you know Vegas isn't the right kind of place for me. And since Charlie's been born, I've been trying to keep my nose clean. I've been going back to Gamblers Anonymous. Good for you. Yeah. It is good for me. But I, I, I was kind of hoping that you and Mom could help me stay straight, because um, family helps, bro. You can help with the charge. Thanks. It's good to have you home. I should run. Yeah, super secret spy meeting. Super secret. for drapes. That store sells drapes. First things first, I'm buying you a paper shredder. Paper shredder? You seem a little preoccupied lately. I don't think it's healthy to keep falls in the people who ruined your life. Vaughn, Carla, management, they don't deserve a place in your head or your phone cabinet. I don't think some old files are the problem for you. Well, let's get rid of them and see. That part of your life is over. Michael? I think we're being tailed. Man with a blue shopping bag. Not yet. I clocked in the parking lot and the coffee place. I don't think it's anything, Michael. Let's split up and see. Fine.
One of the toughest parts of adjusting to civilian life after a major operation is the paranoia. You can't turn it off. If a shopper behind you is carrying a suspicious package and avoiding eye contact, they could be there to do you harm. And if you're right about the threat, the consequences could be serious. What do you want? What do you want? Daddy. Of course, if you're wrong, the consequences could be serious as well. Michael. Sorry, I thought I... What are you doing? I'm, I'm sorry, my, my boyfriend... Your boyfriend is, is a psycho, baby. Come on, honey. Post-operation paranoia isn't something you can control. It's with you always. When you're working, when you're relaxing, even sleep is no escape. your gift you got me a gift yeah let me tell you you're a tough guy to shop for i mean what do you get for the guy who basically has nothing anyway try that a gift certificate for a massage best spa in miami the mist at the darabon hotel there's a five-month waiting list unless you have an in with the owner sam's new girlfriend you have a new girlfriend elsa and i don't use labels mike Except boy toy. <laughs> she calls me boy toy. <laughs> anyway, the spa is so relaxing, they got to bring in a defibrillator to wake you up when you're done. Might help you with your little... Hmm? You told them, Fee? That you're obsessing over the people who burned you, even though they're either dead or in jail. I might have mentioned it. We've always known you've been a little crazy, but we just don't want you going crazy, crazy. Sam, I'm fine. It's just nightmares. Well, they're a little more than that. You attacked a man who was about to pull a teddy bear on you. I told you I spotted him three times. I couldn't take the risk. It was a mistake. I'm fine. Uh... It's Nate. He's picking me up at the loft in 15 minutes. Okay, Mike, get yourself a massage. Do yourself a favor. Wow. So that went well. Look, let's not worry about Mike. He's just Mike. Not right now, he isn't. Two weeks living in Miami, and you're already in trouble. That's a record even for you. It's not me. It's my friend. Look, bro, I just need a little backup. Nate, I'm sorry. I just can't deal with this right now. Okay. Good. That's what I'll tell my friend. I'll say, oh, I am so sorry that your life is in danger. But it's just really not convenient for my brother right now. Whose life is in danger? Jessica. I knew her husband for like a million years in Gamblers Anonymous. He died of a heart attack last month. He left her drowning and dead. Let me guess, loan shark problems. Yeah. The dirtbag's name is Carter. She's in mourning, and the guy trashed her shop. She's in fear for her life. She thinks he's gonna kill her. Tell her to call the cops. I did. They filed a report for property damage, and then they told her, call back if it gets serious. Nate, I don't... I'm just not up for this right now. Listen, bro. I know you're going through some stuff. But half of you is better than all of most people. Come on. The day after Paul's funeral, this guy, Carter, showed up. 
He told me that my husband owed him a ton of money. I didn't even know that Paul had been gambling again. It was in the hole over a hundred grand, like. And now Carter wants to squeeze the money out of you? I gave him everything I could, but it wasn't enough. Somehow he found out about my dad's boat. It's your dad's charter fishing boat. Of course, without that, he's out of work. Losing it will destroy him, but it's the only thing that my family owns that's worth anything. I don't know what else to do. Giving Carter the boat won't solve your problem. He'll just go after something else. Which is why we have to draw a line in the sand. All right, we get a bat, all right, a couple bats. Um, actually, then... no, no bats. Just don't give him the boat just yet. I'll see what I can do. You guys know I'm broke. I can't afford to pay you anything unless you accept free yogurt. Deal. So what's our move? This guy Carter, he hangs out at High Lights. Um, down on 37th, I was thinking we could do some... After you drop me off, your move is going home. What? You have a two-month-old baby, Nate. You shouldn't be hanging out around loan sharks. Sam and I will check this guy out. <laughs> facilities provide a natural habitat for loan sharks who are always hunting for gamblers who need a quick buck at a bad rate. As long as they don't turn on each other, they're at the top of the food chain. Mike, I thought we just talked about you taking some time off. We did. But I couldn't very well tell Nate's friend, sorry your life's in danger, but it's not convenient for me right now. Well, this is basically the opposite of a vacation. I mean, Nate's friend isn't just dealing with a street hustler. Hey, look at the guy. That guy looks like he's made out of scrap metal. That's Carter. He's got a rep for squeezing people until they're selling plasma. Moving up the ranks pretty quick. The guy's a real pit bull. The one holding his leash? Uh, that's the boss, Wallace. He owns this place and Jessica's dead. Suspected in a couple of murders. I checked into him, Mike. These guys are real pros. Good. They'll be careful. You got something in mind? Convince them the boat they want is mixed up in a police investigation. If they're as smart as you say they are, they'll back off and they'll just go on. Nice. So you want to swap the papers on the boat? You think one of your cop buddies can hook us up with a fishing boat the Miami PD's already investigating? Mike, what are the chances you're going to forget all this and use that spa gift certificate? Zero. I'm on it. Come on, Vega, quit talking it! to scare off that loan shark with your shirt? It's part of the Nate Weston collection. It won't get into my regular rotation, I promise. I should hope not. Are you sure you want to do this? A woman's in real trouble. It's better than me obsessing over the other thing. Well, I'm glad we're on the same page. I picked up that paper shredder we didn't get a chance to buy the other day. One press of the button and your past becomes your past. All right, I'll take care of it tonight. Right now? Yeah, I have a business meeting. Have a good day at work, honey. Making an approach to a bad guy isn't always about seeming scary, intimidating, or even smart. A certain kind of target needs to feel superior. So if getting the job done means letting them be the dominant force in the room... Shop's closed! Everyone now! Now! You step back and let them do exactly that. You deaf, dumb, or just looking to get hurt? I'm looking to get paid, bro. Yogurt Lady's dead husband owed me money, too. The name's Trey. Get in line. 
She don't give anybody a nickel till I'm done with her. You know, she figured you'd say that, and for a second there, I was nervous. Two of us trying to collect, and she's tapped out. <laughs> it's like squeezing juice from a stone. You mean blood. No, no. Pretty sure it's juice. So she mentions you've been hassling her about some boat, and ding, I have an idea. Not interested. Hey, I know you're a busy man. I'm just asking for five minutes, okay? If the yogurt lady's daddy has a boat, I am exactly the guy you should be talking to. I don't like your ugly shirt. I don't like your smart mouth. And I don't like you. I do things my way. Well, let's do it your way. Okay. You want to do it your way? Let's do it your way! Hand over the boat, yogurt lady! Don't get me wrong. I like breaking stuff as much as the next guy. But according to the DMV, that boat belongs to her daddy. So smashing counters isn't going to make it yours, is it? You want to turn it into nice, untraceable cash? Then I'm who you want to talk to. Using a little system I like to call the tray system. Which is? I have a buddy. I used to do this back in Vegas. I called him the magician. Forges documents. I can get us papers that make that boat yours. You cash out said boat. Dollar bills rain from the sky. You're listening to Trey now, aren't you? All right. You just turned a date with my boss. As a spy, you get used to people having whispered conversations about you. It's a little like being in high school, but when people are whispering about you in algebra, they're a lot less likely to try and kill you afterward. You work with a crew in Vegas? Crew? No. Just one buddy. The guy I told you about. So only one deadbeat back there knows you're here sticking your nose where it don't belong. Chief, it's not like that. I thought I had an opportunity here. Hey, what kind of a man would I be if I let just anybody walk in here and tell me how to run my business? Take, take this guy back, work on his manners. Hey, 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 you don't like him, you don't like him. The guy's got a plan here in the I think Carter's got a soft spot for you. Isn't that sweet? Nah, he just knows a smart idea when he sees one. You've been waiting on this yogurt lady's boat for, what, a month now? There's more than one way to skin a cat's hair off its body. My guy in Vegas, he can make title documents up here out of thin air. I know that drill. Too bad I don't like magic. Do you like money? Do you like money? I got watermarks, renewal notices, state registration. This guy can even toss in a fake repair history. Nah. Something always splashes back. They want to sue you. They repossess the boat. I don't know who broke your heart in the past, but it wasn't me. These forged documents are so good, they make real ones look fake. I just want my money. And let's see what he can do. And nothing's going to splash back. Once we get our new boat, I'll take Yogurt Lady and her daddy on a trip to the Everglades. They're dead. They can't sue nobody. If this goes sideways, Vegas, some gator's gonna be making swamp fertilizer out of you, too. I know it sounds scary, but we can still make it work. I'm in with the loan sharks now. What difference does that even make? I mean, they're planning on killing Jessica whether she hands over the boat or not. I mean, don't worry. We're not going to let him, um... Uh, Nate's right. We're not going to let him kill you. That's why we're going to do more than just get you mixed up with a police investigation. We're going to make Carter look like an undercover cop. His boss is going to have to remove him from the equation, you're off the hook, and Miami has one less sociopath to worry about. I like that you're so confident, but is that even possible? It's not as crazy as it sounds. Carter's never been arrested, he's from out of town, and he's moving up the ladder pretty fast. Throw in a police boat and a service-issued Glock planted at his place, he might as well be wearing a badge. All right, All right, I love this idea. What can I do? You're coming with me. We're going to keep tabs on Carter. Just keep your head down for the next few days, and we'll let you know when they're gone for good.
You'll be all right. This is really going to lead us to his place? That's the magic of GPS satellites, mate. You need to place it under his wheel well. Yeah. yeah. By the way, that shirt looks good on you. I mean, of course, it does look better on me, but it looks pretty good on you. I'm burning it after this is over. Harsh. Well, in any case, this might be our best chance. Looks like they're uh, pretty occupied. Yeah, with barbecuing a motorcycle dealership. That's gasoline. Change of plans. I'm going inside, see if I can move this along. Keep Carter from hurting anyone. You plant the tracker, Nate. Don't make any mistakes. You may only get one chance at this. Next time, it's your skull! Please, stop. If you just draw my bikes, I, I can't get your money. Well, that was last week's excuse. Seems like we're not getting through to you. No, please, stop. I'm begging you. Nothing worse than burning to death. I can get your money next week. Skin sizzles right off your body. Your lungs sear from the hot air. You gag from the smell of your own burning flesh. Ah. Hey, Dave, I've been calling you, bro. What the hell are you doing here? Why aren't you picking up your phone? I told you I'd call you. I'd get lost. What, right after your whole murder and arson in broad daylight? You gonna call me from jail? Oh, damn, bro! Little arse! Put a bullet in your head right now. Only if you don't care about getting yogurt lady's boat. My guy called. The papers are ready. Well, fine, go get them. Set it up. The sooner this is over, soon I never have to see you again. Hot bike. Go. I've had better jobs. You plant the tracker? No, you said you were gonna do that, right? I'm <laughs> messing with you, bro. I put it under the rear wheel well. God, you really weren't kidding about being out of it. When you're running an official operation, the mission is over when your superiors say it is. Documents are locked away to a basement vault and you walk away. When you're investigating events from your own life, it's harder to turn the page. Even if you've read a file ten times, it might still hold a secret. Nate and I found Carter's apartment in Coconut Grove. It shouldn't be too hard to sneak in once you've gone. It should be empty tomorrow morning. Sam just swapped out the boats up in Boca. I'm going to take Carter up there, so you should have a few hours. Great. That gives me more time than I need to hide our little gift. One cell phone complete with coal log to the local precinct, and one body wire rig, and a... Lease issue Glock. Everything to make Carter look like an undercover cop, but a box of donuts. It's perfect, Fee. I see someone's been doing a little spring shredding. You feel good? Look, I know it's hard to leave your past behind, but it's for the best. You'll sleep easier. Unless I keep you up. Bad guy 
guys, like most people, aren't big on checking the details in legal documents, which makes fine print a powerful weapon for a spy. Altering information on subsection 10 of a title deed may not be very exciting, but when that information makes a loan shark look like a cop, it can be as deadly as a bullet. Congratulations, we're proud owners of the Skylark 2. You ain't kidding, you guys got skills. I'll pick up the boat this afternoon. Well, let's go now. I arranged my day so we can both drive up to Boca. Tough luck, I got things to do. Stuff that's more important than getting rich? Oh, come on. It'll take two hours. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what's happening. You're trying to cut out the middleman. Don't look a gift horse in the teeth. You mean mouth. No, I think it's teeth. Point is, you never cut out Trey. I'm not cutting you out. I'll call you when I have your money. Look. Trey is not leaving. I just detailed this car. I don't want to have to detail it again. Trey is leaving. So, how are you going to handle the sale? Do you got someone who could sell the boat? What's the timeline thing for a sort of this? Are you going to advertise on the World Wide Web? Now, planning his little undercover cop stash. Aren't you supposed to be with Carter driving up to Boca? He had other ideas. You got a beat on the car? I'll take a look. You see anything about where he was headed? No, he wasn't particularly chatty. Oh, crap, Mike. He's heading home. He's heading right here, and he's close. Sam, get out of there now. Oh, he's driving here now? Yeah, buy as much time as I can. Plant the stash. Great. Stalling someone with a car accident is about calibrating the perfect amount of impact. You don't want to cause major injury or create a massive scene. You just need enough contact to keep your target from leaving right away. And it's all about the timing. You want to make them get you. Hey, buddy. What the hell is that? You trying to kill me? You pulled out in front of me. That was your fault. Oh, my bad. Oh, I didn't hit you that hard. Look, there's almost no damage. Let's call it even. Even? You could have crushed my spinal cord. Oh, okay. Is that the way it's going to be, huh? You going to extort me, huh? You want it? Hey, here, take this. I'm leaving. How dare you? First you run into me, now you're trying to buy me off? Oh, get lost. No, no. Oh, no. Where do you think you're going, Mr. Hit and Run? Get lost. R72A3T, that's your license plate, and I am calling the cops. You're not calling the cops. I told you to take off, or I'll give you some real injury. Okay. I'm willing to make a deal. I told you to get lost. Get a piece of cash. How about that? You got to at least admit that you're wrong. I'm going to make a citizen's arrest. Okay? Apartment 22. Get out of here, you jerk. pieces are in place. There's a service issue, 40 cal, hidden in Carter's floor, and they're heading for the boat. So now you can accuse Carter of being an undercover cop. Well, almost. First, we need Carter to give his boss a boat, right? Here we go, Mike. Radio's playing my favorite song. Carter's showing off the new boat to Wallace right now. The guy's gonna need rotator cuff surgery the way he's patting himself on the back. Thought you and Vegas were hunting this town together. Where is he? I don't know. My guy caught a lucky break running into us, but I'm ready to be done with him. This thing has a nav system. Outriggers, a tuna tower. Pretty sweet, huh? I told you I should be hunting bigger game. Let me see those title papers. Yeah, good as advertised. You put me in the position to make plays, I score every time. Selling this will bring half a mil easy. That's how valuable I am. But let me check out your books. 
I'll find you other ways to turn your accounts into hard, cold cash. You did good, Carter. Now relax. See, the guy is using the boat to move up in Wallace's crew is perfect. We got him right where we want him. What's next? Well, now we got to bring in our friend Jesse, get him in place. Mikey's doing it on his lunch hour, so we got to make it snappy. It's time to give Wallace some bad news about his employee of the month. <laughs> Chief, can I get those papers, you know, from the boat? Uh, turns out I'm not a fan of Miami, so if I could get those papers... No way, that's not the way it works. We sell the boat. No, 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 I don't you. want the money. You can keep the share. You know, I changed my mind. I'm going to move back to Vegas. Wait a minute. What is going on? Nothing. It's complicated. You know what? Forget it. I'll just go. Oh. You know, let me make it simple for you. Why are you trying to blow town? No, 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 no. I just, just don't shoot the guy with the message, all right? Your boy Carter set us up. That fishing boat he found. It belongs to the Miami PD. According to who? According to the truth. I saw the photos. I can't get mixed up with this. I want to see those photos. I don't have them with me. A guy, he tips me off. I, I can't get arrested. Well, there's worse things than getting arrested. Now let's go and see the photos. You got a cop tipping you off? No, 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 no. This guy Fickus is a clerk. He sits on the dispatch desk. When I move to a new place, I get an insurance policy. Somebody to keep an eye out for any trouble coming my way. Are you kidding me? Are you a stupid person? You brought them to my job? Are you serious? It wasn't my idea. I want to see some photos now. You told them about the photos. I'm not even supposed to have these. Give me those. Okay, you need to ease up. On the attitude. Thick has heard our names come up on the wire at the precinct. They were talking about this boat. Yeah, I remember the name Skylark 2, so I did a little uh, little poking around, a little drug bust database. Turns out that your boat is from a coke bust in Broward last year. I was on this boat yesterday. I told you that Cotter is mixed up with the cops. Oh, mixed up with? No, no, no. I'd, I'd say it's uh, a little more than just that. You think he's undercover? Duh. How long you known this Carter guy? No way. There's no way he's a cop. He's one of my top earners. That's how it works. Hundred bucks says you prick his finger. He's bleeding blue. Okay? You might want to search this place. I'm gonna need those back. Thank you. Too bad. They're mine. Um, he's kind of a photography aficionado. Yeah. I'll double your fee. You let me know if anything else comes over the wire. Let's call the boys. We're gonna pay Carter a visit. That's a good idea. The millisecond you get back, I'm going to need those papers, and I'm going to... What are you talking about, Vegas? You're coming with me. And you better pray you're right, because somebody's going to be eating a bullet. What the hell? <laughs> what are you guys doing here? What's going, officer? Or is it detective? What are you talking about? You recognize that boat pig? Well, I don't know what you think's going on, but... Shut up! Tear this place apart! You did this. You switched the boats on me. Oh, yeah, that's a funny one, cop. You've been after that boat since day one. I just helped with the phony title. I, I promise you, I'm not a cop. There's nothing to find. Oh, you're trying to blame me? That's like the kettle insulting the pot. I've been a soldier for you, boss. I, 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 I've expanded your territory. I made you money. I, I, I've bled for you. It looks like you're going to bleed a little bit more. Now shut the hell up. Nothing. Well, check for hidden compartments, hollow books. Check the freezer. Hey, we better find something, Vegas. Check behind the toilet. Check under the rug. I promise you there's nothing to find. I'm not a cop. One of you is lying to me. Well, it isn't me. I'm trying to help you. Check everywhere. Maybe under the floorboards. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Shoot a rat in the throat. You can search everywhere, boss. It doesn't matter. There's nothing to find. Check behind that painting. One of the most powerful techniques in a spy's arsenal is accusing a bad guy of being a good guy. 
Your enemy's associates dispatch their version of justice faster than any law enforcement agency, but they're often more ruthless. Of course, that's the same reason that spies live in fear of the day they accidentally accuse one of the good guys of being a good guy. Gee, I wonder if these kids know that their daddy's a rat. I guess they can tell themselves he died doing his job. <laughs> Too bad, Piggy. We're fast enough, huh? Get him out of here. You do not want to do this. I'm with the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Anything that happens to me, you all get death sentences. Oh, I suggest you get me in handcuffs before you start yammering on about putting me in a gas chamber. Your little Fed friends are never going to see you again. Please don't do this. Get him out of here. Oh, well, forget this. You can beg us. When people are whipped into a murderous frenzy, standing between them and their target can get killed. To stay in the game, you have to seem just as crazy as everyone else. Shut up, bitch! Please, you do not want to kill me. Get back! I'm gonna end this! You have to come up with a reason you need to stay close, and the target needs to stay alive. Oh no, whoa, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? You can't kill this bastard till I ask him some questions. Excuse me, I'm in charge, now move! You're in charge, but we're both in danger. Let me pick his brain before you blow his head off. Let me find out what the feds know about me. If you were smart, you'd do the same thing. Fine, I got a spot on Key Biscayne. I'll take him there, I'll string him up, I'll tell you what I find out. You're not the only one who got stabbed in the back here. I have every right to- This right is my show! Yeah, it's your show, but what if the guy coughs up something about a snitch in your crew and you want to find out more? Might be nice to bring a guy who's got an ear on the pulse of the cops. Okay, fine, you can come along. Now get him in the car. All right, I'm going to call my guy over at dispatch, see if he knows anything. Michael? Yeah, 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 you were right. Found a stash in the wall at his place. You mean the floor? Yeah, that's right, in the wall. Behind an ugly painting. Oh, wait, Mike, are you saying that Carter is actually an undercover cop? Scumbag's a fed. I'm going to take him out to keep a scan and get the whole story out of him. Oh, boy, that's not good. This is not good. Yeah, yeah, you're telling me. Okay, we need a plan. If you're heading to keep a scan... We'll meet you at the causeway. We can tell you from there. All right, sounds good. Once you stop, we'll go in hard. No, stay out of sight. I'll get him running. You sweep him up. What do you say? Nobody's missing Carter yet. Let's find out what this pig's last words are going to be. Hold on. He had a toolbox in his apartment. Go get me a pair of pliers and a hammer. Son of a bitch! I'm undercover, too. When the trunk opens, come on, swing him. All right, let's go! Son of a bitch, no. No! I'm gonna handle this. No! I'm gonna find out. Oh. What the hell? Which one of you two tied him up? I'm gonna steal one of you for that. And go get him! It takes a combination of factors to create the fog of war on a battlefield. But spies know that even a single weapon can be a serious destruction. It's hard not to look where someone's firing, and gunshots are disoriented, especially at close range. I'm out of ammo. You got them? That's all I got. What the hell? 
stay quiet. I'm on your side. Wait a minute. You're the guy who crashed into me. No, actually, you crashed into me, but that doesn't matter. Who the hell are you guys? Look, I know you got questions, but they're going to have to wait. Come on, let's go. All good. I think we should head back. Not yet. All right. You check over there, and I'll check over here. You got him? Yeah, he's safe, but he's not our biggest fan. Been trying to collect evidence on Wallace for the past six months, and we just wrecked his case. Then let's put it back together. You get the cavalry heading over to Wallace's place, and I'll find what we need to put him away. Mike, you sure you want to do this? This whole thing is my fault, Sam, and I'm going to fix it. My friend's making a play to take Wallace down. You up for giving him a little help? Whatever it takes. How the hell did you let him escape? We're all gonna go to prison. Prison? That's gonna be worse than prison. We tried to murder a fed. I'm calling my guys. I got somebody at the port with a boat. He smuggles me out. They're not gonna extradite me from Cuba. Even if you can trust the rest of your crew, you're gonna live the rest of your life off what's in your pocket. Well, you got a better idea, Trey? I got a guy in Vegas. He can set us up. New names, new licenses, new socials. In 48 hours, he can give us new lives. All we need is cash. How much can you get your hands on? Everything I got is at the office. Then that's where we need to go right now. What are you, insane? We're not going anywhere near there. I talked to Fickers. The cops don't know anything yet. Carter's on foot. We've got enough time to grab your cash and the books on every debt you have left to collect. We can do this. No, the smart move is running, and I gotta be smart. Listen to me! I was right about Carter, wasn't I? You wanna live the rest of your life in a shack in Cuba? Or shake down high rollers and fix fights in Vegas? I mean, from where I'm standing, it's not even a choice. We got at least a half an hour. Fick is texting me. The judge just signed the search warrant for this place. We'll be long gone by then. Don't leave anything. Grab it. Grab it all. Meet me out back in five minutes. The cops will be looking for your car, so we should take mine. Smart. We're going to go far, Vegas. I got a good feeling about this. Me too. of his files for it. Any chance he's an undercover cop? <laughs> You're pretty convincing, Trey. So are you. How'd you get the feds to let you torch that bike? Sometimes you have to cause a lot of damage to avoid hurting people. Probably sounds crazy. No, it makes perfect sense. Still trying to sort out everything that happened back there, but there's one thing I know for certain. I saved my life. It's the least I could do. You. Drive safe. Always. <laughs> I should have seen it, Sam. It was way too easy to make him look like a cop. Maybe, but you made it right. Barely. One bad break out there and a good man dies. Nobody said what we do is easy. Look, I know you gotta go talk to Jessica, but come on, I'll buy a beer.
terrified for weeks. Yeah, he was pretty convincing. But you would have just ended up in witness protection. Well, in any event, you're safe now. Crime ring is gone, and the Fed said you'd get your money back. I wish there was more I could do to thank you, but this will have to do. Free yogurt for life, bro. With unlimited toppings. I'll just take the yogurt. Mike, I need to talk to you for a minute. It's not about the charger. You told me that you were having trouble getting by some stuff. I don't want to lecture, Nate. I'm not lecturing you. Just saying, I know a thing or two about addiction. So you think I'm addicted to dealing with the people who burn me? I told you why I left Vegas. I didn't tell you when I decided. Charlie was born 11.42 on a Thursday morning. You know where I was, 11.42? I was at the horseshoe. Because I was up 700 bucks and I couldn't leave the table. And that was it for me. That was, that was rock bottom. I'm not telling you to stop doing what you're doing, all right? Now, no one can make you stop. Not until you're ready. And it doesn't look like you're ready. What do you think I should do, man? I think you should see this through. Right? I mean, either you're gonna find out that you're crazy, or maybe this thing with you getting burned isn't over. Either way, it's gonna hurt. say that you said that i just didn't correct you i'm sorry fee i just i found a thread and when i pulled at it i'm worried fee i'm not losing my mind as the cia was rounding up all the people who burned me i kept thinking all my questions would be answered but look at this there are just a lot of inconsistencies just little things you know fuel receipts and docking papers money transfers to nowhere I answer one question, another pops up. You're never going to answer all the questions, Michael. There'll always be another thread to pull. You have to move on. I know, I will. I just need to take one more look. Just one more look, Faith. We'll come to bed, Michael. We'll look at these together tomorrow. Okay, I'll be right there. agent of the CIA. But will it create a bigger crisis than he ever imagined? He should have called by now. You think something went wrong? I know something went wrong. The Big Show guest stars. Burn Notice, all new next Thursday at 9 on USA. Characters welcome.